Ten-year-old Catherine Perez Trujillo drowned last night in Fairfield's Lake Mohegan. Her parents struggled to save her, but she slipped away. To lose a child is one thing. To witness the loss of your child is a completely different thing. She and others were swimming in an area not designated for swimming. There are signs posted nearby that read no swimming, but police are now considering adding more so this tragedy does not repeat itself. Is there enough uh, warning? Um, what else can we do to get that message out? The police chief says he can't stress enough just how important it is to swim in the designated swimming areas only. He says that way there are lifeguards there to keep an eye on you and they know the depth of the water. At Lake Mohegan, there's a reason why swimmers are only allowed to be in designated swim areas. The water there gradually changes depth, but once outside the swim area, it becomes very unpredictable. And so the drops are significant drops in a matter of one step. It can go from two feet to 15 feet in a matter of a second. And take, he says, just one second to drown. It has a lot to do with the shock, the the confusion, the concern that you have from going from three feet all the way down to 15 feet. So, you know, she may have been an okay swimmer, but the minute you panic and, and you get into that commotion, a lot of things sometimes happen. In Fairfield, Allie Reed, News 8.